Okay, so while I was letting the other one dry, I kind of played around with some other things and played around with practicing just single stroke uh, images. And then I decided to play around with a background in the same color as the cat. I thought it might be a nice touch to have a second piece to go with it um, and had some splatter art on it as well. And now we're going to take the one that's been drying and take off the masking fluid. Now, some of it is still a little wet in the splatters, but inside the cat is dry. My only concern is sometimes when the paper still feels cool, you'll notice um, but that means that it's actually still a little wet on the inside and that you have to be very, very careful. So I try and go the same direction that I painted when I'm rubbing off the extra and just, I know it looks really weird, but it actually comes off kind of looking like little baby boogers, especially because I bought the masking fluid that had yellow in it. That doesn't help any. Uh, I'm just going to kind of take that off. Make sure your hand is also clean. Just because you're rubbing on top of the masking fluid doesn't mean that your hand's not going to touch a part that was supposed to be white and that you won't accidentally transfer some of that color. So as I do it, I make sure that my hand stays clean. Like this one has some black on it now, and so does that one. So I'll change fingers um, if I can and try to keep whichever fingers I am using as clean as possible to get the masking fluid off. Yep. To the inside. Not too bad. Now it looks like I touched my watercolor there while I was doing that, so I'll play around with some splatter to try and cover that up so I can fix it. We're going to start with the little place where I touched to begin with. This is why you should be patient and just let it dry. <laughs> Go to bed, take a nap, let it dry overnight, whatever. That should do it, okay. I think I want a little bit more black in this one. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry like I should have to begin with. And then I'll go back and add the eye. I might just do some black micron pen. I might go in with green. I'm not quite sure yet which way I want to go. It kind of depends what I do with the background on the other one. Um, I was thinking about a say, writing a saying on it or something like that to kind of go with this picture. So it's a, a double picture together um, that she could hang up for herself. So we will see what happens next. <laughs> 